Hello everyone, this is Pedro with Centimil once again, and I am very excited to be here today to talk about our new part, the uh, Ronin pan arm extension. And uh, this is a great piece that basically goes along with our arm extension. So you can see here I have my Ronin set up with extended or, or 40 millimeter extended arms. And uh, there's another video I made talking all about the arms uh, and uh, basically we could offer a longer version but we found through our testing that even with the 40 millimeter, which is shorter than what DJI even offers, you can quickly exceed the uh, strength of the motors with some of the builds that it allows you to put on here. So we decided to go with the 40 millimeter length. Um, now basically, why do you need the pan extension, right? So, you know. Today, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share with you guys, you know, how to install it, obviously, uh, but more importantly, what problems it solves, what you can do with it, and um, what you should know about it before you make your purchase. So basically, you know, uh, what I'm going to do today is I have here, we're here at uh, Radiant Images. I should definitely mention that. They are uh, great friends of mine, and I've, I've uh, prepped lots of jobs out of here, and they were nice enough to lend me their little space here so I can do this video and lend me some of their great equipment that uh, they rent out here so that I could demonstrate what you can do. And a uh, big thanks to Radiant Images here in LA. So basically I have here uh, an epic build that normally you could never put on a Ronin but since we have our extended arms uh, I'm going to show off here. We got an Ultra Prime with an Airy um, LMB15 mat box which is a two stage uh, clip on mat box. And uh, there's even a wooden camera. Uh, this has got like a power breakout, which actually adds to the length. And then this, I also have just a, a slimmer rear battery mount. And I'm also gonna be showing off some builds with the very tall red battery. And believe it or not, I even have a Optimo here, uh, 16 to 42, that we're gonna show and build it longer. But most importantly, so to have this nice build, long build, heavy build, and now that you have your uh, <clears throat> arm extensions, it allows you to put a bigger camera on here, right? So the thing is, is there's a problem because you can balance everything out except for the pan axis, which this is the pan arm right here. And what happens is basically when you put a heavy load, which is what the arm extensions let you do, and you move it in one direction, you would need to move the pan extension or, or the pan arm in the opposite direction in order to eventually achieve a neutral balance, which is what we're always looking for, which means when you tilt this rig, this axis doesn't move, it doesn't, in which case you see here, right here, it's obviously out of balance. So what are your options? If you want to get just the arms, which is a lot of people have done, I've, I do that frequently, is you will eventually run out of, you're going to move this all the way back and you're going to run out of adjustment on your pan bar here. And so how you, how do you end up balancing out? Because you have to, because you've got a heavier weight. Now what we do is sometimes we end up putting a battery here because basically you have two options. Either you add weight or you move the existing weight further back. And since Eventually, you're going to reach the end of the pan extension or the pan bar. You can't move weight any further back. So the way we we do, if you all you have is the arm extensions, is you have to add weight here. So one of the things you can opt to do is put a battery right here. You can run a cable and power the, the camera out of it. Um, you can put a your wireless fizz receiver on the back. Any essentially any weight you can find that adds weight here. I've even, uh, in a pinch, I've used an extra Ronin battery and I just velcroed it here onto the side and added enough weight to where I could balance out the load that I had on here. Um, now, the proper way to do it, um, <clears throat> the more elegant way to do it, is with the pan arm extension. So, but it's not only about extending the pan axis. So, the other problem you have when you have a big camera on here, say the battery's right here, and then you go to tilt, eventually you might hit the pan motor, which is right there. And um, that is obviously a problem because you can't look straight down, maybe you're trying to do a straight shot straight around, 
straight down or you have this mounted with a Ronin quick plate on a hi-hat and you want to look straight up, for example, which you could do. Um, I have a great video of it mounted on the roof of my vehicle driving through downtown LA in just that mode. And you wouldn't be able to do that if um, with a long build if essentially because you would keep hitting this pan motor. So what we did was we extended we not only we built an extension, which basically it installs the same way the arms do, which is just you remove the four bolts that are right here. There is enough cable for the pan power, uh, pan motor power, and communication where it just extends out. You just simply install our extension, and so what we did is we not only moved it further back, but we dropped it down. And you can see here with the shape of our extension, we dropped it down so that now the camera can totally clear the pan motor so you can look straight down or if you have it inverted you can look straight up so not only are you helping achieve your balance but you're also enabling clearance on a longer build so this is a fantastic new thing one of so what are the trade-offs obviously it's you know it's fairly light um, it doesn't add that much more weight um, you're already going with a heavier build part of the part of one of the issues is that you're moving this closer to your body right so if you're holding it this is now closer to your body because this is all getting extended back. So one of the things I wanted to do, and of course I've been in the field, I've been doing jobs and I found that to be a little bit of an issue sometimes if you're running and you're not paying attention or you're getting tired and the pan bar, the battery touches your body, ruins the shot. So basically um, what, do you, what was I concerned about when I was making this? Obviously we went to great lengths to make it as light as possible make it a very nice looking product and a high quality product. But the other thing I was looking at is trying to find the just same way we did with the extension. We were trying to find the minimal amount of distance because anytime you extend any weight further away from uh, the center, uh, the virtual center, it, it puts more stress on the, on the motors. So we want to minimize that to keep the Ronin at, at as close as possible to its peak performance. And so that's how we came up with the arm extension length. Um, so this was the first one we made. It was, uh, it's a little bit longer. Um, it does give you a lot more options, but it, it does move it a little bit closer to your body. So we are also gonna offer a smaller size. So you can see here, two separate sizes. And basically the shorter one, um, depending on your build really, in my opinion, it's probably the one that is going to be um, still extremely useful, um, but also not move it too far back. And you know, since since during testing we made a longer size, I'm still going to offer this one. Um, but you know, it's really up to you and what build that you guys have going on to which size you're going to use. I'm going to venture to say that the smaller size is probably going to suit most of everybody's needs um, because once again. You, a small increase in these axes nets you a big uh, expansion on what you can do um, with the uh, with the Ronin and what kind of cameras you can put on there. So at this point, um, we can go into the installation and uh, I can show you a balance and show you how you can achieve great balance even with some pretty wacky uh, camera setups on there. And so let's get into that. All right, everybody, I wanted to show the installation for the Cinemilled Pan Arm Extension. And um, so basically, it's uh, fairly simple. You see here, I got my driver in there. Could be, could be any of, you could use your DJI Allen keys. And um, I'm using my driver that I have here. And um, basically, it's really simple. There's two Allens right here and two allens on the bottom for a total of four screws that connect these two pieces together. And you're just gonna wanna loosen that, you know, these two and these two. Now, they do have a, like a locating stud, just like the arm, so they, actually without any bolts on there, they kind of stay in place. Um, but it's just a word of caution is that when you release this, you wanna make sure that you're holding on to your Ronin when you're the part with the weight, which is this part right here, not this part, you can have a helper. Because basically, when you remove this bolt, it's gonna wanna drop, and if you're not holding onto it, that cable 
can yank out of the connector that's in, that goes into here. We don't want to do that. Um, obviously, the best place to do this is on the table. I'm doing this um, just for demonstration purposes on my mount here because it's easier for me. But um, let's uh, let's give it a try. So basically, like I said, just undo all the bolts. Got my last one here. I already did all the other three. So once again, I'm supporting it right here. And there's the screw. And so you can see it actually kind of holds together, but if you jiggle it apart right there, be careful. And the cable is hiding in there and you could just pull back on that a tiny bit and you can see there's actually a lot of ribbon cable hiding inside of the Ronin there. So um, you can just give that a gentle tug this way and it's gonna free it up. So now that it's apart, here's the arm extension. Obviously there's a top and there's a bottom. The bottom obviously has a channel for the ribbon cable. So that locates the piece like so. That sort of goes in there like there and that drops in right there and that's it and now essentially all you need to do put the screws back in there right there and keep holding on of course because it's not really attached yet Gonna want to do one on each side, just right away, so that you don't run. Now I can actually let go, and it doesn't go anywhere. You know, uh, I'm actually gonna run all the screws in there at this point. So you see, there's two on top, and then two on the bottom. And you just repeat with the four screws and it's installed. So uh, basically you can see the uh, pan extension installed and um, it's not in, in balance as you can tell. Um, I opted at this point just for demonstration purposes for a wooden counterplate here and a red brick which is extremely tall as you can see here just to demonstrate how much clearance we have on the pan arm and you can see right there even the map box clears and um, which is actually great which leads us into balancing our top and bottom weight and as you can see right there um, we're not balanced so we just release the clamps right here this is great to be able to tilt the camera straight back like I usually do um, but with a large payload and to get my balance so I'm just sliding down on the arms here until we get a uh, you no know, movement and as you can see right there we are now balanced and that pronounces other out of balance situations We're a little bit off side to side so I'm going to loosen this now my technique is to um, leave resistance so I don't loosen whatever I'm adjusting all the way I just loosen it enough to where if I put enough pressure on it it slides and I do that so that I have more fine adjustment of what I'm, whatever I'm trying to adjust. So I'm a little bit heavy to the left. So I got to, there we go. And too far. And there we go, that's good. So I'm gonna lock that in. So we're good on our side to side here. And so now it's just front to back. 
and I grab my little uh, DJI tool. And like I said, I don't really use the quick release because I find it doesn't hold. So I'm just loosening the Allen enough to where I can slide this back and forth. Slightly front heavy. And now we're back heavy. And that's balanced. So I'm going to lock that in. And so now, uh, as usual, I go back and I check my other axes. And as you can tell, it changed because I slid the plate back. So let's readjust that. Very small adjustments. And that's pretty close. And so, as you see now, that effect that probably slipped a little bit as well. So, I'm going to loosen this again. Too far. So, um, main thing I want to show here, uh, try a little bit run heavy. All right. So, main thing I want to show here is how to balance the pan axis. Now we got all this weight going on here. We're pretty, pretty, pretty balanced. And um, so, basically, as usual, we turn the Ronin sideways. And we are, it, it's already wanting to move without me doing anything. So that's a sure sign that your pan axis is out of balance. Um, so basically, put it sideways, you move it up or down, and it should stay in place. And if it's not staying in place, it's because you're out of balance. So unlock our uh, pan axis adjustment right here. And if I lift it up, it's falling backwards. So that means this is too far back. So we actually need to go in. And so at first I go pretty gross adjustments and see what it does. And you can see I'm definitely getting closer. I went in the right direction. So I'm going to make much smaller adjustments now that I know I'm closer. So let's try that. And now I'm going the other way. So we actually need to go back a little bit. that there. Let's put that there back where it's supposed to go. And it pretty much is not moving. So this is pretty close. I'm going to give it a minimal tweak there. I'm going to lock that in and let's see what happens now. So there it is nice and level. And if I tilt it, it does not move. The pan axis doesn't go left, doesn't go right, no matter where I go with the run in. So it's powered off, of course, because we're balancing. So that means this axis is now properly balanced. So we have a properly balanced pan axis, um, even though we have a big load and the arm extension's on. So once again, that's the pur pur purpose of moving this whole thing back. We would have been maxed out on our pan extension. The other purpose, of course, is clearance. So look at that. We have full tilting clearance because we have dropped down the pan axis. And of course, now we can turn it on. And it's going to wake up. And there it is. We can take the controller and just test everything out. Yep, sure thing. And so one thing you want to watch out for is the pan bar now is so long that it can hit your um, your handlebars here. So you, as you can see, I, I switched this one up. 
So obviously while you're operating, this is not a problem at all. But uh, once you're done, it's uh, you just move that back into place. So everybody, that is the Cinemill pan axis adjustment. You know, as I talked about earlier, we do have two different sizes. Um, with this configuration, this smaller one also works. And um, just for giggles, I'm gonna try a couple other things for right now. I set up a build with the Epic a red brick, which as you can tell, extremely tall, so obviously any other battery would definitely clear. And the Ingenue Optimo Zoom which in this case is 16 to 42, which is a very popular lens. Uh, zooms are an uh, interesting option. Uh, you don't have to rebalance when you change focal lengths. You know, you can just change your focal length easily and keep shooting. Um, so maybe a setup that people might use. Um, and basically, you can see here I'm using the red brick, which is very tall. So obviously, if I had any other battery, it, was, it would be also easily clear. And you can see here, I can go to the maximum 45 degree up and of course I have full straight down tilt with as you could tell ample clearance around the pan motor um, which is important because when you <coughs> when you um, rock the Ronin side to side this has an arc so it's very important that you don't just barely clear this motor but that you clear it with a good amount of space. And uh, I'll actually demonstrate that for you right now. I'll just loosen this guy right here. So as you can see, the battery is traveling left to right uh, in, in relationship to this distance. So that actually changes a little bit. So it's important that you have a good amount of, of clearance in that regard as you're running or it's on a vehicle, you know, so there you go. So that is the uh, Ronin with our pan arm extension and our arm extension with the Optimo Zoom, a C Motion Focus, and we got here the Red Brick. Reached the end of our little install video here. Once again, very simple install, just bolt on, bolt off. Should only take like 10 minutes once you're used to it. Just be very careful with that ribbon cable. You don't want to bust that up when you're putting, tucking it back in, tucking it back out. Um, just be very delicate because it is a delicate cable. And um, you know, if you pinch that when you're putting this back together or yank it, when you, it's a real pain to fish that cable out of the uh, pan motor here and replace it, not to mention it goes into the, the main board right there. So um, i just like to thank Radiant Images for hosting me and um, also thank you guys for continuing to uh, support our products and I hope we uh, continue to come out with a lot of great new stuff. We have some very interesting things coming up in 2015. Um, we are working on a few really cool new accessories for the Ronin. We are also working on a very good, very high-tech um, car map. And uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting for 
uh, a great car mount for gimbals and it's going to be kind of universal, won't be Ronin specific, you can put a Movi on there and uh, I'm hoping to, to uh, enable a lot of people to do some really great shots with their gimbals on vehicles so that's kind of my goal for uh, this year, this new year is to enable you guys to do some great shooting and continue to expand what your gimbal can do for you. And uh, any questions, contact us anytime, sales at cinemill.com. Um, you can order it off the website, of course, uh, www.cinemill.com. And uh, I'll see you guys around.